Good morning. <laughs> Why don't you stand with us as we worship? Praise the Lord in spirit and in truth, knowing that He is God and we are not. By the power of His blood, we are saved. Amen. What a blessing.
You guys can have a seat just for a moment before we continue worshiping. You know, every once in a while, not too often, but every once in a while, we'll rally together to raise funds for a cause that we believe is near to the heart of God. And for the last several years, we together as a church, you and I, have been raising money to feed families during Thanksgiving. I'm sure that a lot of you are aware at this point that New Mexico ranks number one in the nation for childhood hunger. So many children, so many families not knowing where their next meal might come from. And we think that especially for Thanksgiving, we wanna be a part of solving that problem. Of course, Feed NM Kids is working with families throughout the entire year, week after week. And so we would love to be a part of that. But for Thanksgiving, we say, hey, let's see if we can feed a family at a time, as many families as possible. So for only $40, we can feed a family of four a Thanksgiving meal. And we just want to give you an opportunity to partner with us in that today, this weekend, and throughout the month of October. But we want to start with one big weekend. Hey, I want to share a verse with you and just talk about this just for a moment. In Psalm chapter 10, verse 17, we read this. You, oh God, you hear the desire of the afflicted. You encourage them and you listen to their cry, defending the fatherless and the oppressed in order that man who is of the earth may terrify no more. But two things that that, that stand out there, really it's one thing that, that shows up twice says, you hear, O Lord, and you hear the cry of the afflicted. And isn't it good news that we serve a God that hears the cries of the brokenhearted and the poor and the hurting? Throughout the entirety of the Bible, we see that we serve a God who hears, who is attentive, who listens. When Cain killed Abel, God told Cain, he said, the blood of your brother cries out from the ground. When the children of Israel were slaves in Egypt, they cried out to God and God sent Moses as a deliverer 
for them to bring them out of slavery. When the children of Israel were now in the promised land and the Philistines were oppressing them, they cried out and that's what caused God to send deliverers, judges, to bring them out of that oppression and into times of peace. Well, I am convinced that God hears the cries of the hungry in our state and he wants to raise us up to act on their behalf as deliverers to help feed them and care for the widow and the orphan. And so today we wanna give you the opportunity to partner with us. Again, $40 will feed a family of four. There's a few ways that you can give. You can text to give feed NM Kids to 77977. You can also drop cash or check in those boxes, but just make sure that it's earmarked with Thanksgiving. That way we know where to put those funds. And then you can also give online. But I want to turn your attention to the screens as we hear a few stories of how kids have been affected by this ministry. New Mexico ranks first in the nation in childhood hunger. I want to change that. I'm Holly, and I founded Feed New Mexico Kids. We partner with APS to connect with 3,000 or so children who live with food insecurity. That means they have no idea from whom or when or where their next meal will come from. No idea. When you think about the public health orders that have been in place for over six months now, and you realize that schools have been closed, and public schools are where some of our city's neediest children and family get food and other services, the situation for them is very grim. It can seem hopeless. One school counselor who we work with told me about a little nine-year-old boy who takes care of his younger siblings. She said he's always so polite and so thankful for the snack packs they get from Feed New Mexico Kids. He came in the morning after his family was given their Thanksgiving meal, and he had a single slice of turkey folded into a piece of bread and told his counselor he wanted to give her a sandwich to say thank you. He was so proud to be the one on the giving side for a change. And that boy, he wants to grow up and be able to feed other hungry kids. Another story from the trenches. There are three young children we know of who have been passed around the foster care system for years and years. They have no one to call mom or dad. They say they don't have a home. And these three walk to school every day and are almost always tired and hungry. The oldest was given their Thanksgiving family meal and a counselor spotted them after school at a park eating the Thanksgiving food. They probably should have taken it to their current foster home, but they don't trust anyone with their food. You know, when kids like that get a Thanksgiving meal and their snack packs, it changes their lives. You can help end childhood hunger in New Mexico. Just $40 provides a really good Thanksgiving meal for a family of four, children and families who may not otherwise have a Thanksgiving at all.
done it before, would you do it again? Heaven breaks. Heaven break out. Oh, Holy Spirit, you are welcome here. Come flood this place and fill the atmosphere. You go. Thank you for worshiping with us. You can have a seat.